Have you ever wondered what would happen if the Earth was closer to the Sun? This is a question that has intrigued scientists and curious minds for centuries. Currently, our home planet is comfortably nestled at an average distance of about 93 million miles from the Sun. This distance is no random occurrence but a crucial factor that contributes to life as we know it on Earth. It provides us with the perfect balance of warmth and light, while protecting us from the sun's intense heat and harmful radiation. It's a delicate balance that allows water to exist in all three states, solid, liquid, and gas, and fosters a diverse array of ecosystems. But what if this balance was disturbed? What if the Earth was nudged from its current position and moved just a little closer to the sun? What then? Let's explore this fascinating possibility. Our solar system is a finely balanced system. It's a cosmic ballet, with each planet spinning and pirouetting in place. You see, there's a reason we're not too close to the sun, nor too far away. We're in what scientists call the Goldilocks zone, or the habitable zone. It's not too hot and it's not too cold. It's just right for life as we know it. To understand this, imagine a tightrope walker. The rope is thin, the balance delicate, this is the Earth, maintaining a careful equilibrium in the vast cosmic circus. And the force that keeps us on this tightrope, that's gravity. The invisible strings that pull and bind us, ensuring that we don't spiral off into the cosmic abyss or crash into the blazing sun. Gravity, the cosmic puppeteer, is what keeps Earth and all the other planets in their orbits. It's like the strongest magnet you can think of keeping us from flying off into space, but it's not just a matter of keeping us in place. Gravity also plays a crucial role in maintaining the conditions necessary for life on Earth. You see, Earth's distance from the sun is just right. Any closer, and the temperatures would skyrocket, making it unbearable for life as we know it. Any further, and we'd freeze in the icy grip of space. And it's not just about heat and cold, the amount of sunlight we get affects everything from photosynthesis in plants to the cycles of the seasons. Our Earth is a delicate balance of conditions and gravity is the force that maintains this balance. It's like the most precise watchmaker, ensuring that everything ticks along just as it should. But what if we were to upset this balance? What if we were to shift our planet closer to the sun, even by a small margin? It's a question that stirs the imagination, and it's one that we'll delve into as we continue our journey. Shifting our planet closer to the sun, even by a small margin, would upset this balance. And as we'll see, the consequences of such a shift could be far-reaching and catastrophic. But more on that in the next scene. Imagine a summer day, but it's 10 times hotter. Now let's dive deeper into the heart of the matter, the heat factor. If Earth was closer to the sun, the amount of solar radiation reaching us would increase significantly. Think of it as standing closer to a campfire. The nearer you get, the more intense the heat. The same principle applies here but on a cosmic scale. This increase in solar radiation would cause a dramatic rise in our planet's average temperatures. You know those sweltering summer days where the pavement feels like it's melting under your feet? Picture that, but much, much hotter. We're talking about a world where the gentle warmth of spring and the cool crispness of autumn could become distant memories, replaced by a relentless scorching heat. The consequences of this temperature rise would be far-reaching. Our planet's water bodies, for instance, could start to evaporate at an alarming rate. Lakes, rivers, even the mighty oceans, all could start to shrink. Imagine the vast Mississippi River reduced to a trickle or the deep blue Pacific Ocean transformed into a salt-encrusted wasteland. This evaporation would also significantly increase the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere. While water vapor is a natural part of our climate system, too much of it can intensify the greenhouse effect, leading to even higher temperatures. It's a vicious cycle. More heat leads to more evaporation, which leads to more heat, and so on. To make matters worse, the increased temperatures could turn vast swathes of our planet into deserts. Fertile lands could become barren, forests could wither away, and animal habitats could be decimated. The Earth, as we know it, a vibrant blue and green marble teeming with life, could become a scorched, lifeless sphere. Our planet, as we know it, could become a giant desert. What happens to our skies in this scorching scenario? Let's dive into the atmospheric alterations that could occur if Earth was closer to the Sun. 
With our planet inching nearer to the sun, we'd see a significant rise in temperature. This increase in heat could cause a series of dramatic changes in our atmosphere, potentially making it inhospitable. The atmosphere we know is a complex and delicate balance of gases, each playing a crucial role in maintaining life as we know it. Disturb this balance, and the consequences could be dire. Let's consider the water vapor. Higher temperatures could cause more water to evaporate, increasing the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere. While water vapor is a naturally occurring greenhouse gas, an excess could trap more heat, causing temperatures to soar even higher in a vicious cycle. This phenomenon, known as a runaway greenhouse effect, could turn Earth into a pressure cooker, similar to Venus. And then there's the matter of our ozone layer. This thin layer of ozone gas in the upper atmosphere acts as Earth's sunscreen, absorbing the majority of the sun's harmful ultraviolet radiation. If Earth was closer to the sun, this increased exposure to solar radiation could damage the ozone layer. With a weakened ozone layer, more of the sun's destructive ultraviolet rays could reach the Earth's surface. This could cause a myriad of problems from skin cancer in humans and animals to damage to plant life. The very fabric of life on Earth could be threatened. But it's not just about the ozone layer. Other atmospheric gases could also be affected. Increased solar radiation could lead to higher concentrations of harmful gases like nitrogen oxides, which could further contribute to global warming and air pollution. In a nutshell, if Earth was closer to the Sun, the increased heat could cause a cascade of changes in our atmosphere, upsetting the delicate balance that supports life. The impact on the ozone layer could be particularly concerning. Our protective shield could be compromised, and with it, life as we know it could be in jeopardy. In life as we know it, would face an uphill battle for survival. Let's take a moment to consider the potential impact on the diverse world of plant and animal life we share this planet with. Imagine a world where the scorching sun beats down relentlessly, where the temperature soars beyond what most life forms can endure. This would be our reality if the Earth was closer to the sun. The increased temperatures would have a devastating impact on the habitats of many creatures. Polar regions home to species such as polar bears and penguins would melt away, leaving these animals homeless and at the brink of extinction. Even in less extreme climates, the heat could prove too much for many species. Forests, jungles, and other ecosystems would suffer as well, with many trees and plants unable to survive the relentless heat and drought. And then there's the radiation. Being closer to the sun would mean more exposure to its harmful ultraviolet radiation. This radiation is a known cause of skin cancer in humans, but it doesn't stop there. It could also damage the skin, eyes, and other tissues of animals, potentially leading to mass extinctions. Aquatic life wouldn't be spared either. Increased temperatures would lead to the evaporation of surface water, making life untenable for many aquatic species. Coral reefs, often called the rainforests of the sea due to their rich biodiversity, would bleach and die off as the warmer ocean waters become inhospitable. Now, let's turn our attention to plant life. Plants are crucial for life on Earth, as they produce the oxygen we breathe through photosynthesis. But if the Earth was closer to the Sun, this could change drastically. Increased temperatures can disrupt the process of photosynthesis, leading to less oxygen production. Moreover, many plants would simply wither and die in the relentless heat. But it's not just about the plants and animals. The consequences of such a shift would reverberate through the food chain. Predators would struggle to find food as their prey dies off. Herbivores would starve as plant life dwindles. The ripple effects would be felt at every level of the ecosystem, leading to a domino effect of extinctions. And so, we come to a sobering realization. If Earth was closer to the sun, the lush, vibrant world we know, teeming with diverse life forms, could be transformed beyond recognition. The verdant forests, the colorful coral reefs, the icy polar regions, all could be lost. Our rich biodiversity could be reduced to a barren wasteland. Could humanity survive in this new world? Now that's the $64,000 question. As adaptable as we humans are, such a drastic change in our planet's position would undoubtedly test our resilience. Let's talk hypotheticals, shall we? Picture a world much hotter than the one we know today. 
our current homes would be uninhabitable. Walking outside might feel like stepping into an oven. So what would we do? One potential solution lies right beneath our feet. The Earth, quite literally. As the surface of our planet becomes a no-go zone, we might look to the underground for refuge. An intricate network of subterranean habitats could serve as our new homes. These would not only shield us from the scorching heat, but also provide a stable temperature environment, much like a natural form of air conditioning. But living underground is not without its challenges. We'd need to figure out how to grow food, produce clean water, and maintain a stable oxygen supply. In short, we'd have to recreate our entire ecosystem below the surface. Then there's another possibility. What if we could engineer specially designed habitats on the surface? These structures would be designed to withstand the intense heat, perhaps utilizing advanced materials and cooling systems. They might even harness the extra solar energy for power. However, this would require technological advancements that are currently beyond our reach. And what about our bodies? Human physiology is not designed for such high temperatures. Would we evolve over time to cope with the new conditions? Or would the change be too rapid, too severe? These scenarios might sound like the stuff of science fiction, but they're worth considering. Because if Earth were to move closer to the sun, the survival of our species would hang in the balance. It's a stark reminder of how finely tuned our planet is for life as we know it, and how much we depend on it to stay that way. The survival of our species would hang in the balance. This scenario paints a grim picture, doesn't it? Earth, cradled ever so delicately in the Goldilocks zone of our solar system, teetering on the precipice of a fiery doom. We've journeyed through the possibilities of our home planet being closer to the sun, and trust me, it's not a vacation hotspot you'd want to visit. We've explored how the delicate balance of our solar system could be thrown into disarray. The gravitational ripples of such a shift, like throwing a stone into a cosmic pond, could cause chaos not just for Earth, but for our neighboring planets as well. We've felt the heat, quite literally, as we delved into the unbearable temperatures that would turn our lush green planet into a blistering inferno. Our oceans would evaporate, creating a pressure cooker atmosphere, and the very air we breathe would become a luxury. We've seen how atmospheric alterations driven by the extreme heat could lead to an unbreathable cocktail of gases. The sky as we know it with its comforting blue hue would be replaced with a relentless red glare. We've witnessed the impact on life, or rather the lack of it. The diverse tapestry of life that we're a part of would be reduced to a barren wasteland. Plants, animals, and eventually humans would struggle to survive in this hostile environment. And speaking of human survival, we've considered the adaptations, the drastic measures we'd need to take to endure in this new world. Would we become a subterranean species hiding from the sun's wrath underground? Or perhaps we'd take to the seas in specially designed underwater habitats. This journey of ours, this exploration of what ifs, serves as a stark reminder. It underscores the importance of maintaining our planet's current conditions to preserve life. Every tree we plant, every emission we reduce, every step we take towards sustainable living helps keep Earth in its precious Goldilocks zone. It's a reminder of how crucial our planet's position in the solar system is for our survival. Because in the grand scheme of things, we're not just inhabitants of Earth, we're its custodians.